Hi, I am Shorty Biscuit and welcome back to my channel. I am here again at Neef and there's lots of telescopes again and there's lots of people talking about astronomy and everything to do with scopes and solar viewing and nighttime viewing. Equipment is on sale and I get to geek out about astronomy stuff. I am here with Brendan from Starpoint Astralis and he's going to take me on a tour of this portable observatory. There you go. I'm Brendan from Starpoint Astralis and uh, I'm just going to take you for a quick rip around um, our observatory, portable observatory, the Optimus portable observatory. Let's go inside, hey? So, Optimus portable observatory, uh, it's got a 3.5 meter uh, base. Easy to set up, it takes myself about 20 minutes to set the full thing up from start to finish. And that's in adverse conditions where it's very, very hot, 120 degrees Fahrenheit in America. Um, it's got high quality base material because where we go, it's like we have sharp rocks that are like knives. Um, they are horrible materials. We've got grass that almost just sticks straight through the material and you've got to pass it nicely. So we've selected really high grade, 500 grams per square metre PVC canvas. The walls, the walls are high quality um, polyester. So for those of you who are specs uh, related, it's 420 denier, uh, which is very, very heavy, almost like a uh, bag material. Um, on there. It's almost silver on the outside as well to reject heat. Um, obviously it's still a, uh, a tent so you're still going to get warm but it rejects as much as possible. And the material itself is dyed black. So it's not coat black, it's dyed black. So it won't fall off after a certain amount of time. So to give you an idea, we've had the, the first version of this in testing for three years in Australian summers and I do not treat it nicely. I chuck it on the ground, I walk over it you know, it's just, and it didn't have the ground mat either, so it's lasted perfectly. So, yeah, this is it designed in Australia for Australian conditions. So, not only do we have this size here, which is the larger size, we have the small size as well. Now, inside you'll see that there's a little ground mat, uh, very similar to the outside ground mat. We've got a little ground mat, and that's for the Phoenix. It's 2.6 meters versus 3.5 meters. As for those that don't want to use the additional space, um, and that's what we would do to camp in as well. They might just be using it out in the backyard, or they want to grab and go. It's a lot lighter, a lot quicker to set up, and you know we can use like a, an EQ6 or I think you guys call it an Atlas 6. Um, and a ten -year -year. The other thing I'll show you as well, I might bring it down here, it's nice and easy. So, because we designed these things to be fast to set up, easy to set up, um, what I'll do is hold this in here. So, the ground mat, when it's windy as, you can put the ground mat down and it doesn't make it hard to put a flat sheet down whilst it's wet. You then drop the actual tent on and this little uh, clip here is quick connect. So you literally, whilst it's blowing, you just go clip, 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 clip and away you go. Then you can put four poles in and done. We've also done things like this where these are aluminium, not plastic. Uh, so this is going to be yeah, holding your the, tent yeah. under load. Uh, and we've had this in winds over 80 mile an hour. Yeah. Um, you know, we had uh, hail, uh, lightning, wind. And yeah, it holds on very, very well. So here we go. We've got the, the windshield. Now, a lot of people think this windshield comes up and over. It doesn't. It actually goes dead straight up. We've got four poles that can be placed in each of the corners. And depending on the night, so you might have wind coming from the north, say, and then at 11 o'clock at night, it's dark, you're imaging away, and then you notice your guiding starting to go erratic. You go outside and go, ah, oh, it's windy. The wind's starting to come straight through and hit the sky. Well, it's pretty easy. You literally cam lock, you twist the pole, you slide that one down, pull that one up, and you're done. Okay? And then once you're done for the night, you drop everything down, it clips up quite nicely um, out of the way. This here is the, the over, overarching theme here, so that uh, it's going to resist the water. When it's really windy, it's all uh, reinforced so that it can hold a hell of a lot of weight. Um, put it down, over, you're nice and out of the way. 
Additionally to that is that if you think you're going to get uh, rain or you want to keep the, the tarp off your scope, you can have internal uh, poles that sit in and pop it up like a public dome. So therefore it can be a, a, a camping tent or it can also be a observatory. So that there is a, a quick rundown of the Octans and the Phoenix uh, from an Australian vendor that's a long way away from home. <laughs>